This movie tells a story about a middle school teacher and her sheriff brother who become embroiled with her enigmatic student whose dark secrets lead to terrifying encounters with a legendary ancestral creature who came before them. First of all, this is a horror movie that doesn't stick the landing. The movie tries to use horror to say something about abuse, but the metaphor doesn't totally track. The filmmakers fails to go beyond the surface here. The movie uses hunter-killer creature stakes as a metaphor for confronting traumatic abuse, both emotional and physical, but it's an unbalanced exercise. It's a ponderous horror that asks questions it doesn't necessarily want to answer. The movie cares more about introducing moods than seeing all development angles through until the end. It's an atmospheric monster movie that is disappointingly undercooked. Given its premise and everything it does right, the movie winds up being a frustrating experience. While the movie has a number of good ideas, it isn't able to totally take advantage of them with proper approach by the third act. It falls short of meeting its full potential. The filmmakers may have bitten off more than they can chew as the movie flits from one source of societal problem to the next with little rhyme or reason. This movie feels like window dressing, something that becomes more conspicuous once the story rushes into a noisy and action-packed finale that gives in to all the run-of-the-mill tropes that the movie initially tries hard to avoid. That's where the movie loses most of its points and ultimately fails itself. The movie's better at understanding the horrors of humanity when it's not outright trying to compose straightforward horror narratives. An opening tunnel sequence is a blurry swirl of hypercuts and handgun flashes that underserve an introductory massacre. The visual device of gored bodies becomes a misdirect away from the persistently contemplative emotional terrors. The story in this movie leans towards messy when the monster is unleashed, unfortunately not in a good way. It's not just the cracking metaphor that hurts the third act, there's a point where the script seems to be unsure of how to proceed forward beyond just barreling towards a final confrontation. After spending an hour or so establishing characters and dynamics and slowly ladling exposition that allows audiences to put pieces together, it just goes into plot mode and starts putting everything out on the table. One thing to appreciate about this movie is its allegorical intent and attempt at being more than just a monster movie. There is an attempt made by the filmmakers to establish a link between the film's demon and the trauma of child abuse. The problem is that while this work stands up through the first two acts, it withers away in the third act. The movie's decent setup wasted in light of the lacking resolution. When the film feels like it's about to really get going, it ends with a whimper. The surviving characters seem to have learned nothing. There's nothing to take away from this story, it just all happened. Overall, it's always exciting to see horror taken seriously and constructed with detailed purpose, but the movie's aim falters at exactly the wrong time and the issues badly undermine the best aspects. There is plenty to appreciate in its crafting, but it's let down by its disappointing conclusion.